Hello! Welcome to the installation video of Crowbot Neo Series Micro Inverter and Communication Gateway Shine We Link. The installation video consists of four sections, which are system and product overview, AC trunk cable installation, micro inverter installation, and Neo micro inverter network configuration. This video will take the Neo 2000 MX as an example for installation training. The first section is System and Product Overview. As an example, let's consider a 4 kW solar system consisting of two Neo 2000 MX micro inverters, eight solar panels, and one WLAN communication gateway. Working in harmony, these components efficiently convert direct current into alternating current, feeding the generated power into the public grid. Each micro inverter operates independently and the status of each solar panel can be conveniently monitored through the ShineFone app. The most important parts are Neo Micro Inverter and Communication Gateway Shine Link. Please note that if you are going to use Wi-Fi version of Micro Inverter, you do not need the Shine Link. Before we start the installation, we would like to give you a brief introduce some key features of our Neo 2000 MX Micro Inverter. The max continuous output power is up to 2000 VA. It has four independent MPP tracks, which means that it is able to be connected with four individual PV modules and supports module level monitoring. The wide input DC voltage range means that PV system has a longer working hours. Max input current is up to 15 amperes, so it is able to be compatible with high power module. It supports IP67 protection degree and anti-eye landing protection. It features LoRa wireless communication that ensures stable communication between micro inverter and WLink in various environments, and the max communication distance is up to 100 meters. It supports firmware upgrade and online maintenance remotely. You also need some micro inverter accessories when installation. AC trunk end cap, AC trunk port cap, PV connector unlock tool, AC trunk connector, AC trunk connector unlock tool, and PV extension cable. Now, unboxing the package of the micro inverter and you will find a micro inverter. AC trunk connector, AC trunk end cap, and quick installation guide. The screw hole in the middle of the handle is for grounding wire. The lower right corner of the micro inverter is the indicator light. There are four independent DC connectors are on the bottom of the inverter. The wireless antenna is on left part. At the upper left corner is the AC output connector. Section 2 will introduce AC trunk cable installation. First of all, you need to determine the number of micro inverters that will be installed on each string on the roof. Based on the design, you will also need to prepare the appropriate quantity of AC trunk cable connectors. First step is to remove the upper cover of the connector with AC trunk connector by using the unlock tool. The second step is to insert the AC trunk cable into AC trunk cable connector and ensure that the LMP is placed in corresponding slots. Tighten the screws and put the AC connector cover back to the AC connector. Once you hear click, the connector is ready. The next part is to install the AC trunk connector end cap. Install the trunk connector end cap and screw end cap back to the port. Please repeat all the steps above to make sure all the AC trunk connectors and end caps required are ready. The third part is micro inverter installation. Allow a minimum of 20 mm space around micro inverter enclosure to ensure ventilation and heat dissipation. To begin, Identify a suitable installation location based on your design and mark the location on the rail. Securely fasten the screw at the marked location on the rail. Next, place the micro inverter on the rail and tighten the screws to secure it in place. Please note that the label side should be facing towards the panel. 
Secondly, connect the AC connector of the micro inverter to the AC trunk cable port. Once you can hear click, the connection is OK. If there is any unused AC trunk port, please use the AC trunk port cap to seal it to prevent water and dust. Peel the sticker of micro inverter series number from each inverter and fix it to the installation map accordingly the design. The next step is to connect the inverter with a PV modules via MC4 connectors. Before proceeding, please verify whether the DC extension cable is necessary for your installation. Repeat the above steps until all PV modules have been connected with their respective micro inverters. Now we will come to the final part of the installation, Neo Series Network Configuration. The package contains a Shine V Link power adapter and quick installation guide. Firstly, plug the power adapter into WeLink and power it up. Use your smartphone to download the ShinePhone app to configure WeLink. The first step is to log in your account. Second step is to create your plan and input the plan information. Thirdly, you need to scan the QR code on WeLink. Next, please choose your home network and connect it. Final step is to add micro inverters into WeLink. You need to scan the QR code or series number on the inverter. As long as you can see the indicator light on the wheel link is flashing blue, the configuration is finished successfully. The configuration procedures of Neo Wi-Fi version is similar with RF version micro inverter, except that you do not have to add wheel link because Wi-Fi version has a built-in Shine Wi-Fi X2. Fill the plate information. Scan the serial number or QR code of Shine Wi-Fi X2 or micro inverter. Next step is to connect the micro inverter with home Wi-Fi. Once all installation steps have been completed, please review the installation checklist to ensure that all steps have been properly completed.